hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how we can make a very basic app to add two numbers so what we are going to do is we are going to take two inputs two numbers from user and uh, by clicking some button we are going to add these two numbers so that you will be able to learn how uh, these uh, button action perform or button click event works and how uh, these text boxes work so let's get started i have deleted my older uh, large text widget from here and now my activity is blank so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the text field here and in here I'm going to uh, take this number field so I'm going to take one number field and I'm going to take another number field so I'm going to add two numbers right now I can double click this text box and I can add the text to this text field but right now uh, text field is not required because uh, uh, we are not going to display any text on uh, these text boxes but you can see the ID is important ID is the unique uh, ID which differentiates one tool from other another for example this edit text ID is the ID of this uh, number text and edit text ID 2 is the ID of this second added text right now to uh, show uh, this number text or added text a uh, little bit more or wh why we are using this added text we can provide the hint to this uh, text box so you just select this added text and go to uh, the property called hint so there is a property called hint and here we can uh, provide the hint to the user that what he is expected to enter here so for example i will say so now uh, these are the hint you can provide so it will uh, you know uh, appear on your text boxes but it will not appear as a text but it will appear as a hint for example you want to uh, you know provide the hint that this can be the text box for email or some name or any other uh, hint you want to provide to any text box you can provide uh, this uh, hint by going to the property called hint here okay and whatever text you write here it will be uh, provided as a hint now to add these new numbers uh, how we want to display uh, the message you can uh, display message by these plain text views or uh, any other text views from here so we are going to take this uh, text view which is a plain text view and we are going to make it little bit larger and you can you know adjust the length of the uh, text view by adjusting these uh, this thing okay so for now uh, let's take a large text view we are going to add one more button to our activity so that whenever this button is clicked we should be able to see the result so in the visit you just drag and drop a button here now what we need to do is now our design is complete we have two text boxes we have a result uh, text box or text edit or text view and we have our button and once you uh, have these in your activity you will be able to see them here so you have added text one edit text two and text view which is this one and the button which is this one right 
now everything is done then we are going to go to our java folder and in our java folder we are going to go inside the main activity so go inside your main activity or just open this main activity dot java okay and last time we have added some uh, methods here to uh, log some messages so i'm going to delete all these things because um, we are not going to uh, use them anymore and then i will go and delete up to this destroy and then i will delete all the logging messages which we have uh, printed last time and now everything is clear okay so this is uh, just basic uh, main activity dot java okay so now in here what you need to do is we are going to make a public function to uh, provide the button click event to uh, the button so what we are going to do is we will uh, just write public void public void and then we will write on button click okay and then make a bracket here i will change my text format and i will write here view view v okay and then i will write something inside here okay and for the first time whenever you uh, you know so write this view here you will be able to see this red symbol here okay so what you need to do is you just need to click alt enter and all your imports will be fixed so just click alt and press enter and it will give you some option click the first option and then your uh, error will be fixed so it has added this uh, import android dot view dot view in your uh, main class or main uh, activity dot java okay so whenever you see some error just uh, press alt and enter and it will give you some options okay now inside your um, function or method you just need to write edit text edit text because we are using this and then we will uh, name our text as for example e1 is equal to once again edit text and we are going to find our edit text by its id so i am going to enclose my this edit text with which is a default uh, keyword for edit text and then i will just write find and you you can see it's auto complete so under studio will give you the hints what can be uh, the you know method you can call with this find uh, keyword okay so just press enter and uh, just write find view by id and inside this we are going to find view by id by writing r dot id dot added text and this added text if you remember is the id of the added text number one so when you go here and when you click this the id of this is added text you can see here or in the ids here in the properties you can see the id of this uh, text is added text so this is the id of this one right similarly the id of uh, this added text 2 is added text 2 itself you can see here or you can see it here so this id is this id we are writing here okay so in a same way i will copy this and i will uh, do the same for added text 2 text view here the result will be shown in the text view right so we will uh, create the instance of uh, this text view also so 
what we can do now is we'll declare an integer variable for example num1 and we will assign whatever user will enter in this first text box and we will convert this uh, text to the number and then we are going to uh, use this number to add uh, the values. So this will give us the sum of these two numbers and then we can display this sum to our text view. Okay, so we will take T1 on which we want to uh, set our text and then dot set text and uh, then we uh, set the text. So this is the integer and then we need to convert this integer to uh, text. So we will write integer with capital I integer dot to string and then sum okay so this is going to um, give this uh, in integer and then from integer to to string integer dot to string we are converting our integer to sum okay so now we have this method now how can we tell uh, this button that we want to call this method when we press this button okay so what we can do is just select the button so I'm going to select the button and in here in the properties I will find the property called on click okay so just find the property called on click and once you are on click property here you can just click this combo box and you will be able to see this on button click uh, method automatically appearing here okay so this method which we have created when you go into the uh, design view you will be able to see this on button click method here you can just select it and now whenever we run the program we will be able to see our result in of a emulator. And now it's running here. Okay. So our uh, application is running. Let's uh, check this. So for number one, I will enter, for example, 500 one. And number two, I will enter six or not 501, but it was 5001. And in here, I will enter 6002, for example, or 60002. Okay, let's enter 6002. And then when I click sum, see the result here. So click sum and the sum will appear in here as, as a result. You can add uh, some uh, other numbers, for example, some different number and click OK sum and the sum appears here. In a similar way you can use this um, activity to calculate the subtraction division or multiplication of these two numbers. So you can add uh, some more method and some more buttons and you can uh, whatever you enter here you can click uh, subtraction button or addition button or uh, multiplication button or division button and it will give you the same result right so this uh, application you can simply extend it to uh, do arithmetic operations different arithmetic operations with uh, the two numbers so i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now